you don't have to, but it certainly helps. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, just, um, you know, things like the, the layout of pricing pages, for example, like we've just talked about the anchoring on the left versus the right and so forth. Sometimes it's really hard to actually quantify the, the revenue uplift associated with things like that because you've got to A-B test it and often you um, you might have changed prices the same, same time you've changed the layout of the page and you can't separate A from B and so forth. Um, but there are, certainly, um, there are certainly benefits in having a good knowledge of behavioural economics. Um, and that can be, you know, also decoy products. You know, decoy products are magnificent. So, you know, that's the $800 bottle of wine in the restaurant that you don't buy because it's just too expensive, but geez, it makes the $80 bottle of wine look really affordable, right? And that's the one they want to sell you. Um, so there, there's things like, there's decoys like that. Um, the first edition of the Apple Watch, if you remember that, there was a $25,000 version of that. That was a decoy to make the other ones look better. There's um, Norma's restaurant at the La Meridian Hotel in New York that has a $1,000 omelette on the menu. And it's there to make the $100 omelette look really, um, really affordable. Right. Telstra used to have a two gigabyte ISP plan. Now, I don't know anybody that would last a day on two gigabytes of data but it got you onto the product ladder. So there was a decoy at the bottom of the product ladder. And you can have them at the top of the product ladder. Um, but there's all sorts of, um, there's all sorts of things, but you've got to use it the correct way. Um, there's a chance that, you know, there's increasingly, it's increasingly being recognized, as, recognized that nudges that are not beneficial to the customer are called sludges. Um, so, um, you know, things that are beneficial to the company but are beneficial to the customer um, are, are not good things to do. Um, so I, I think it's critical to, um, to, to use behavioural economics in mutually beneficial ways, not to the advantage of the seller over the customer.